Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Fucking heteronormative Star Wars bullshit. You be a gay Sith, you won't even let me. And and a slave of all people. Fucking telling me who to touch my butt. Inappropriate. Oh, hi, enemies sighted. I don't want to fight. Or whatever. Fine, I guess we're fighting you now. What can I do? Ah! Yeah, man, Shlupa, Shlupa Boopa, she will, she will have sex with anybody in, in the galaxy, but only if it's, like, weird. Only if it's weird, dark Jedi stuff. That's what I'm into. Yeah, my, my, uh, Shlupa's fetish is people giving her a massage while she yells ultimate power or whatever over and over again. Shoots lightning at people. Oh, that's a lot of fucking guys. Yikes. Apparently they were like goblins, so it's fine. Um, you know, like on a more serious note, and I, I think I mentioned this, uh, I've mentioned this before, um, yeah. there have been... Uh, there have been moments throughout the the history of Star Wars where um, you know people have said people at at the various like companies responsible for Star Wars related media or whatever that terms like uh, you know gay or bisexual or LGBT are just things that don't exist in Star Wars, um, which is like really shitty and super like erasury. Like, it's not okay. But what's cool is seeing how extended universe folks, like, disregard that. Like, every every Star Wars game where there's a, a non-straight couple, uh, every game in which any kind of non-normative uh, gender identity is explored is, like, a, a blow against the kind of, like, heavy weight of this weirdly... Weirdly, like, straight history that Star Wars has. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, and I think that's why people are so hopeful about, and people get so, um, I don't know, people get so excited about the idea of, like, in the new movie, of the relationship between, like, Finn and Poe, or, like, that whole situation. You know, like, you know, we, we can, we can dismiss it as, like, shipping and headcanon and whatever, but... Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that it would be really nice to have those things uh, just, like, straight up acknowledged in Star Wars. Like, they, we deserve to be acknowledged as things that exist in the Star Wars universe. So, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I'm here. it just feels disappointing when that's not uh, addressed or it's just, like, ignored flat out. Also, I love that they invite us in here, and instead of instead of just like subtly working our way around, I'm killing everyone. It's like it's all I know how to do. I guess because it is. But right, so here's that so-called throne room. <laughs> you know, R two and C three PO are knocking bolts. <laughs> uh, yeah. How dare you! my chambers how rude 
I am a personal guest of Davik and how can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this I'm gonna kill this guy. Fuck this guy. Display. I... Fuck you. You touch that alarm, you're a dead man. Time to die. Racking up the joint. Let's see if this guy had anything cool on him. Some grenades he chose not to throw at us, I guess. Yeah. I'm here. Hmm? Okay. Oh, look at all this junk. Yeah, I killed that guy for his stuff. Cool. Alright, well, it was worth it for the credits. That's nice. Let's rescue the Evan Hawk guy. That'll be dead by the time I throw that grenade. Oh no. It's good. I still got to throw the grenade. idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more <laughs> torture cage going mad. Now that you're free, give me my reward or I'll kill you myself. Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. All right, Hermes Conrad. Just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You, you can better. use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. I, kn I know, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, you're free to go. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I should have just murdered him. <laughs> oh well. We've got what we came for. Yeah? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah? Use your yes. healing ability again. Come on. Hmm? I need to upgrade that heal. It is terrible. Alright, hangar. So through, right, and around that hallway. Okay. Yeah, also like naming naming the ship the Ebon Hawk is just so lazy. Right? Like, okay, we get it. The Millennium Falcon. Like, it goes back to that whole thing about Star Wars' sort of tendency towards sameness. Like, you can't really take a risk when you're making a Star Wars game. Got a computer panel. Ah, hell. More killing to do, I guess. Use the access card. Access system commands. Disable hangar security. Open all security doors. All right, I'm out. I mean, the Ebon Hawk, yeah. Like, Dr. Hobo Man points out, the Ebon Hawk is a cool Damn, no, sir, name. But so was the Millennium Falcon. Sooner, uh, wow. Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. Wolves in the throne room. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make Classic it. villain talk. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs they're dropping will kill us all. I'll kill us all. Jesus. Shields up! I'm here. Me outnumbered now, 
gun. And if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Unflattering camera angle. Nah. <laughs> now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Hooah! Hooah! <laughs> yeah, I got you. Give me all this shit. I'm out. What's up, Evan Hawk? Let's go. Do you wish to board the Evan Hawk? You fuck yes, I do. Fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. <laughs> Suck it, Kalo nerd. <laughs> All right. See again, like, like proto Star Destroyer, or uh, yeah, Star Destroyer. Like it, it's, it's meant to invoke this very specific feeling of the movies. Like you know, this is an Imperial ship. Everything's lit red, and it's there's the like lower areas, and it's shaped like a wedge. They are offering no resistance. The city. I don't know. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic. A cyborg villain. I, I just feel like there's so much, um, like, self-reference there. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to escape that stuff. And in a lot of ways, I think that folks don't want to, you know? Also, can I... Can we have game, please? Hello. There we go. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 take that planet, oh shit, pew, pew, pew. Oh no. Oh, so much fire and everything's toast. We gotta get out of here, everybody. <laughs> Bring view. Yeah, fuck you, Taurus. This is the best part of the game. Ooh. Swoopy spaceships. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Mm -hmm. Incoming fighters. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. <laughs> Feeling oppressed by social justice warriors? Your men's rights being stamped on? Come to men to ween. Uh oh, being chased by cool pointy fighters. I actually kind of like the designs of these ones. Oh my god, minigame. Yeah. Yeah, minigame. You're the best. Uh, they're coming around. Oh, this. God, my mouse sensitivity is way too low for this. Fair. Fair. The planet did give us Shlummy, which we can now add to our, our inventory of silly things to call people. Oh uh, no, where are they? Yeah, exploded. Destroyed. Yeah, we did it. Shoo. That was ridiculous. But now I can escape to Dantooine. Wish I had taken my massage slave with me. Yes. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her Dantooine. surface. Seems like it's a fine. lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. 
Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe for Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. Well, I'll have to blow it up. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. What about Something sexual healing? What we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. <laughs> I like how he <laughs> he projects that so hard. Like, oh yeah, it was rough. That planet blowing up. I bet you Mission is really sad. Single tear slides out from under his goggles. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. But outside the ship is space, Bastil. Oh, you mean on the planet? Okay. Never mind. I've spoken briefly with the council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience Ooh. with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. Yeah, it's pretty unusual for someone who's not a Jedi. I tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the council. <laughs> well, I don't like being left out of the loop. Karth, 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 give me your wallet. Why? Trust in the Force, Karth. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chamber. Karth, buy me a hamburger. Why? Don't you have your own money? Trust in the Force, Karth. Alright, let's go meet with the Jedi Council. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Back off! I'm no Padawan! I'm Shloopa Boopa! I came here with Bastila. Bastila? I have heard of her. They say she has already oh mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, do you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest... <laughs> if this is a jape... <laughs> the Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Stop japing me! I didn't come here to be scolded by you, Jedi. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Ah -ha -ha. Forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Yes, may it. May it be with me. Anyway, where'd she go? Ballista Shan. Ballista! Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Master Vrook, Padawan Master Bastila, Vroda. Sure you are already familiar with. Padawan Basila? I thought she was like a real Jedi. So you've drawn me into a little trap, Ballista. What now? This is no trap. The council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Oh, the backup council. All right, what do you want? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable... Ah, yes, we gotta do the tests. ...strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof. Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. 
We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult? Has this not come up already? Do they not have protocols for this shit? Like, what do you do when you find someone? Ha! <laughs> Lie. Of course, great Jedi. We'll learn your ways and follow the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept <laughs> adults for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. Like, you'd think that they would just have something. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. Again, why do we have a not Yoda? Like... Against Malak. With Revan dead. Hmm. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. See you later, Noda. Peace. Huh. This is your bad dreams about the Darth Mid guy. I remember a temple? And Kylo Ren. I mean, this other guy. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. No, oh, Malik, this is before you lost most of your face. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. Can you not see? I'm dressed like a villain. Shut up, Airbender. Its power truly be worth the risk. Malak, I'm gonna banish you to the business end of my dick in a second. Shut up. Ooh. The sweet orb. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First <laughs> Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Again? All right. Had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. I'm out. You Here, you two come with me. Thug boyfriends. Despite helping you on Terrace, Canaris continues to be something of a mystery to you. It might be a good idea to try to get to know him better. All right. Yeah, what do you want? Do you know anything about this world? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places, ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Yeah, you got any cool stories, bro? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand. <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, 40 of your years! Glory of <laughs> it's through combat that we prove our worth. Gain renown. 40 of your human years! The Mandalorians destroy worlds for honor? They we sound rad. Lose. As long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's I mean, that sounds cool. Yourself. The battle against death. Against... The battle oblivion. against oblivion. That's pretty badass. What are you doing now? The days of combat and glory and cheating death at every turn seem to be over now. I take what I can. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline. And the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. 
<laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. <coughs> Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. Well, join me, and together we'll kill a bunch of rad shit. The thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned. I weep for my Man, past. this guy. We'll again speak of this. We've got work so to hard right now. I love you. Yeah. Mmm, Candorous, you're so evil. You make Karth look like a, like a gummy bear. Oh, gummy bears. Anyway. Go see the council one more time before we leave, I guess. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. There's some kind of dungeon. Malak found something. I have to go to Tatooine. I don't know what Basil is talking about. See, this honesty. We are taking an incalculable risk at even considering training this one. You cannot deny what you are. These dreams are part of you. The Force is part of you, though a part you cannot yet control. But through training and it's like your spleen. we can teach you to live as one with the Force. Basil, or I could learn to use it to kill people. To the council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. You just said she was a Padawan. I don't want her to teach me how to Force. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Uh-huh. Together. Uh-huh. I'm just imagining shooting force lightning at all these people. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Yeah. Stop them. It's definitely what we're going to do. We're going to stop the Sith. <laughs> yeah. long and difficult as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Hells yeah, of course. I seek to follow the light. Good. It is well that you see how important this is and have the devotion to follow it. Understand that there is little choice in this matter for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Mm -hmm. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. The dark lord. Do not fear, masters. I will not fall. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. Yeah, that'd be rough. That'd be super bad if that happened. Mm -hmm. The ancient ruins you dreamed of. Awkward. Once the council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Yeah, that sounds great. Of course. Yes. Your devotion is most commendable. Before we send you to investigate the ruins. You must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed. Ooh, to fail. doomed to fail. I surrender myself to the will of the Council. We must begin your training at once. 
I love how often you can lie to these guys. That you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Yeah, training montage. Do 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 do. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the force. Uh, Trying to lift this book. Fuck. Now I'm gonna read it. Mm, yes. Mm, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special. How family. special? Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. I get that fighting with like great fighting with lightsabers would be dangerous, but these are like yes, swords. Yeah, player, I can levitate myself, two chairs, and a book. Unlimited, and your progress. That's right. My progress is amazing. Years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. Excellent. I am honored to welcome you. Well, that was easy. To the Jedi Order. Give me my lightsaber. Your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. He looks like he's got like a little bit of a mustache. You see that? What must I do to prove myself? The traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place. Complete for me these quests three. I'm ready. Let's do it. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. Ooh, the Jedi these Code. Always guide All right. Actions. All right. In everything you do, you must always be Sure, yeah, uh-huh. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. You must prove... Nice. You must prove you understand the way to lie to me, that you understand the Jedi Code. Alright, uh, let's, let's level this guy up, first of all. Level up, Pistolary. Um, oh yeah, and I also have, uh, like, war, Davik's war suit and stuff. So that's cool. Alright, you can wear it. You can wear the cool purple armor. Where's Kandorus? I want him to use the other funny goggles. Here, there we go. Funny goggles for everybody. Uh, okay, where was I? I was gonna level up this guy. Dexterity, please. Point treat injury. And... Yeah, more, more pistol stuff. Let's give him an uh, improved power blast. Accept. Candorous. Oh yeah, Candorous looking dope. Nice Oculus. Hmm? All right. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me the fucking questions, man. Soon your apprenticeship will end in the traditions and uh, Yeah, I'm ready. These first, I you must now prove there is no emotion. Where's the one about killing stuff? That is not no oh, shit. I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> Let's try again. I'm ready. There is peace. There is no ignorance. Let's see if I can just guess my way through. There's no peace. There's ignorance. There's knowledge. There is no passion. There's no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. No chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There's no death. There is the force. You your studies well, apprentice. It will not I'm good at lying. You are a full I guess. Of our order. But first, <laughs> you must pass the second test and learn about the most. Is this test? <laughs> is this test also <laughs> multiple choice? <laughs> the lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. I know. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. 
And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy. Focus I know what a lightsaber is, bro. Alright, let's go find Master Dorak. <laughs> what do the Jedi say about spoons? That's a good question. I have a hair trigger I can throw in here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Master Dorak, where's he at? Where's where's his Dorak? Basila and who this guy? Vruk and Yoda. Here's Dorak. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the. What colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They yeah, can I get a pink lightsaber? And more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other mm. groups. Using their power what kind of uh, what kind of Jedi should it be? I'm thinking Guardian, maybe. I <laughs> like the LMX exclamation marks. I want to be a Jedi Guardian. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking probably Guardian. Guardian or Sentinel. I I like I like Guardian. I'm thinking I'm thinking Guardian. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by... Ooh, but Consular gives me lightning. Ooh, Consular sounds good, too. <gasps> and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Um... I hate these multiple choice things. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do Consular, and then I can pick lightning people. Stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Lightning! I fucking attack him again. No, I'm gonna try to find a weakness in his technique. Yes, I suspected as much. I don't know how to, but I want force there choke. Is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the Oh no, not unrest. What do you do? Uh, I get stoked. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi No, I don't. Path no, I want to be a fucking counselor. Give me green. Here is a green crystal. <laughs> like it's like you did the test, and we figured out you'd probably be this. But what do you want to be? Because it doesn't matter. What the tests are irrelevant. Yes, Chalupa, Chalupa Boopa. All right, Jedi Force power time. Uh, so what do I want for stats for all this? Like. Wisdom gives me more points. Okay, yeah, high wisdom has modifier to Jedi Force points. I mean, had I planned way in advance, uh, I would have just bu boosted wisdom. But this will be useful like across the board anyway. So let's, um, yeah, let's we'll do wisdom. Okay, like I'm already like red background. Uh, let's improve my shitty skills. All right, I've been granted weapon proficiency, uh, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, and force sensitive. Now I can also take some other shit, like another implant. Um, oh yeah, that's a good point. Hold on, I'm gonna go back and take uh, repair instead. Cause I gotta fix what's his face. There we go. Okay, so uh, what Feet should I take? Um, I've already got empathy. 
I want to take like the cool. Let's see. Like optimize my shit. See. Two weapon fighting, meh. Caution, meh. Gearhead. Yeah, where's finesse? People are telling me finesse is a good choice. But I don't see it on here. Dueling. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not picking powers yet. I'm gonna get dominate mind and stuff. I'm gonna be all like scary dark Jedi, but these are just feats. So let's take. Um, yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like the one-handed lightsaber one. This one, yeah, single-handed weapons. Um, but if I can upgrade Jedi, oh Jedi defense, oh to block blasters, yes, that please. There we go. Now, let's see here. Heal seems really useful. Energy resistance, affect mind, dominate mind. Yeah, I'm taking this one. Give it to me. And then also, stun droid. Wound? Ooh. Wound choke kill? Yeah. Where's lightning? Shock? Lightning? Storm? Yes. Give me that shock. Oh, okay. Finesse doesn't exist in. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, get those dark sides. Okay. Accept. But I got so many more levels, everybody. Look. That's why I've been saving them. Do it again. I'm not ready yet for the second level ones. Okay. Um, see, folks are suggesting stasis field as a as an option. Oh, drain life. Man, I can't wait till I can get that one. Th throw lightsaber. Okay. Yeah, drain. I'll definitely take drain when I can get it. But right now... Right now, I just got to pick another, another blank one. Um, so let's take... Yeah, throw saber is bad. Yeah, all right. Let's take wound. Because why not? And we'll just keep leveling up. More skills. Can't take that second sense. Where's the defense ones? I already have advanced Jedi defense, so I can't take that. Now I will bump up and grab me another implant, because those are badass. And let's see what we got here. So, yeah, these are all baby powers for chumps. Stun. Yeah, let's add, start adding some stun powers. Oh man, we're the best. Yes, give me more power. More. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad I saved those levels. Shit. Oh, yes. Hot stuff. Okay, uh, we can take... Can we take choke yet? No. Alright. I'm gonna take another first level power, or first tier, I guess. Fear, force push, stun droid. I mean, like, these are all kind of silly. Mm, I guess push, maybe? Or fear? Stun droid? Let's take push. Push is a fun one. Oh, I get another one. Okay. Um, I will also take stun droid, I guess. 
Because I can't take any other second tier, so I have to take another one. It's like a droids. So many skills! Alright, here we go. So I'm a Jedi Knight now. Improved Force Focus and Knight Sense. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Should I take dueling now? Weapon focus lightsaber. But I'm kinda I'm doing the caster thing, right? So I don't really I'll just get a third implant. Yeah, let's do it. Go full Vader. Ooh, but empathy is good too. Plus two to persuade, awareness and treat injury. Yeah, let's let's take implants. I want to be a cyborg. Um, all right, so powers. Now I can start getting the second level of stuff. Stasis seems cool, but we gotta go with force lightning. There we go, Shlupa, you dark beast. Yes. Give me my lightsaber. Do I not have one? Oh, I just gotta go make it now. Mm, fine. So many powers. I guess you leveled up. Would you get excited watching me level? You, you wouldn't want to be left behind? Hey, right, man. Oops. I always go okay instead. Here we go. What? All right. <laughs> yeah, you got a pity level. All right, what are we doing here with the training computer or something? Turn to Master Jar. All right, Jar Leston. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. It's cool. I'm just going to make it out of this red thing I found and some youngling bones. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Craft a lightsaber. Yeah, that power crystal. Crystal, green. Only for now. Zoom. All right, now I can start killing people with it, right? You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lights. I know, I'm the best. These crystals are very rare. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain force sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Okay, where will I find them? It is a rumor, oh, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawn. Your well. lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. Yeah, honor and, and respect. Of and lasers. And dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, apprentice. Mm, and you must prove yourself worthy. Mm, I doubt that. The foe. Are you ready to face the final challenge? Uh, give me about when one you... second, and I'm gonna just save, so I don't have to listen to you blab again. And I'm gonna check my equipment. Do I have any? No, I don't have a cool Jedi robe yet, or whatever. All right. All right, let's fight. Greetings. Let's fight. Let's fucking do it. For ever, even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side, the ancient grove once used the cath hounds in the area have become. Oh, I gotta go kill cath hounds. The cath hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true. True source of darkness. I can say no more, but rem the dark side still taints the. I can say no more, but here's three more dialogue trees for you. Uh, all right, well let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go be a Jedi. So, later on, do I get a suit of Jedi power armor and I get to come back and kill all these guys? What? A Jedi droid? Oh my! The council has decreed you may come. Yep. Something seems to be bothering Karth. All right. Yes, what's in your mind? 
I'm a Jedi now. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes, but I'm bored, so spit it out. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Yes, it does. You're damn right it does. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? <laughs> no. I'm frustrating. Look who's talking. What, me? What did I do? Oh, that's rich. You don't know? Typical male. Wow. Just keep reiterating that prejudice at each other. That's rich. Where have you been? Okay. I give up. You win. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. <laughs> you said a name like I should know you it. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well on the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. We'll I try it. We'll try again. I'll give you another back. chance to recruit into the Sith. How could you not have seen through that? I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was yes. A mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst. Uh-huh. I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes. Oh, he's sad because his boyfriend left, left him for the Sith. The first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses. Aww, his little broken heart. Half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. And that's why you feel so sorry for yourself? Don't even start with that. I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel angry. At Saul and yes, all others. feel angry. Give Saul in to your hatred. Son. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret. What Good, we'll get revenge. Do the same thing in your well, shoes. There's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. <laughs> awesome, Karth. Awesome. You are a damaged individual. All right, where am I supposed to be going? The Grove. Gar. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. We're the Jedi. What we decide is always right. Is that an impersonation of Vassala? If it is, it's a good one. <laughs> you Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land, and worse. I say we look for these Mandalorians. I fought them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. We should Racist. Stop them if we can. I mean, many of them are. Oh no. Protected her better. Yes. As you call God, he's such an asshole. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. <laughs> but Ilsa, my Ilsa. Not Ilsa. Said no. Only an idiot says no when they have a gun in their face. She was always impulsive. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I'm sorry, the Jedi don't take revenge. But your problems? They're not my concern. Please, I beg of you, find the Mandalorian raiders and destroy them so my daughter can... Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Breenview, <laughs> Elsa's gone. Just, just let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the force never bothered me anyway. Oh, hello, Elise. Nice land speeder. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see. Your quote unquote companion? Is it some kind of Twilight? We're working on my farm to the north of here. We got so many random inside, quests. And he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he could he have been kidnapped? Could it have been cat hounds? Cat hounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Oh, 
It's a calf hound claw on a door. There must have been someone who could open the door by him. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason. Nah, I thought it was a sex bot. You expect to run off and find some stupid droid? Yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He is very dear to me, my precious is. Oh, wow, this is awkward. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. Um, what exactly did you use him for again? He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my own personal ease of mind, I need him. Ease of mind. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. <laughs> C-3P, oh my. doesn't she? Please. I beg of you, return my droid to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, sure. If I see him, I'll send him back to you. Thank you, Master Jedi. <laughs> if you find him, please. You need him so much. That's cool. Lady's got a need, and droids aren't people. Oh no, an angry cow hippo thing. Someone has released the hounds. Alright, let's do it. Where's my fucking force lightning? Restricted by armor. Ah, oh, shit. A wizard can't wear armor, I guess. Put some clothes on. Nope. Nope. Shit. Cancel. Yeah, get him! Oh, yeah, it feels good! God, that awful sound. My character went from being a total piece of shit to actually being capable of doing things. Yes, Dave's good point. Why is it that Vader gets to use Force Lightning? Or, uh, uh, yeah, Force Lightning and Choke and all that shit while he's a literally a robot. And uh, I have to, uh, I have to take my vest off. Does it has does Vader ever use lightning in the canon? Like, do we ever get to see him do it? Cause I feel like he must be it must be like a power that's accessible to him. Oh yeah. Arrgh. Yeah, suck it. Cat hounds. Ah, oh, man. Let's go. God, the force is just making it so much easier to kill things. Down you go. Uh, okay, he could, but it would have fried his cybernetics. That's a shame. I'm here. Poor guy. Uh, eh, eh, move. Well, Vader's basically a cyber zombie, right? Like, his essence has been reduced down because he's all cybernetic, and where is that thing going? Come back, fool! Come back! Eww. And again, locked in place. All right, we're gonna kill all the cath hounds on this entire planet because I don't know. Fuck it. Please extinguish all cath hounds. Let's try a. Uh, no, I don't want to fight them. I want to push. Yeah, do it. Shwa. <laughs> Stupid hound. Time to rumble. Calf hounds, more like core hounds. Down you go. Oh yeah, it's fun. I'm just out here grinding hounds. Zoop. 
Yeah, <laughs> Darth Crusher. Exactly. The calf hounds have been acting strangely lately. Maybe you should murder them all. Ooh, strange ruins. Ow. Oh, the door is too thick to be cut through with a lightsaber. Says you. Pfft. Lazy. There's something weird with the way that my character's butt is animated. It makes me a little uncomfortable. It's kinda... Let's do it. These are Mega Blasts. Like, she, the character has this like weird, intensely like, massive clinch thing going on. I just need some more flattering pants. That's, or a robe to cover up my weird robot butt. Robot butt. Um, hold on, I want to check something in the options because evidently, yeah. See, I have VSync on. Evidently, VSync has something to do with that weird like problem that was happening. I'll turn it off and we'll see if. Uh... Anyway, yeah, yeah, like, there's something weird going on with the way that this character's body is animated and. I just, I need some new clothes. I don't have to worry about it. Time to rumble. Yes. Down you go. You know, if I could, if I could have a force power of any kind, it would definitely be force lightning. I mean, all the other stuff is cool, but being able to shoot lightning out of your hands is just such a badass trick. No, I don't want the answer to- oh, what are you doing? Ugh! Alright, I gotta be careful. I'm all beat up now. I have no healing abilities. Away, put your weapon! <laughs> your cell phone would always be charged. Good, good, get to 100% power! I have to text people! Yo, Darth, what's up? Oh shit, where'd this guy come from? Get out of here, you! Oh, Sleepy Jedi. Alright, tough guys, you're gonna have to win this fight without me. I love that his weapon is just a box with a tube on the end. Shoot him with your boxy tube gun. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we are.
So, how's everybody feeling? Can we return to the Evan Hawk? Yeah, let's go and rest. Alright, so. This whole grove situation. This is what I knew. So here's the thing from, and I'm not, I, I don't think it's true of this game, or maybe it is because it seems based like pretty completely on on the same model of Dungeons and Dragons, but I liked how in the Star Wars, it was like one of the only things about the Star Wars, the Wizard Star Wars tabletop game that I actually liked. So in that game, instead of hit points, uh, you had a pool of vitality points, and vitality points didn't represent wounds, they just represent... Uh, they represented like how how much like energy you had left in the fight. You could use them, you'd spend them on stuff, um, but they um, they went away as you got hit. So you were like dodging, and it wasn't like oh you're getting killed. It was you're getting worn down. And then you had a pool of points equal to your constitution that were your actual hit points. And so when someone when you lost all your vitality, then you start getting actual wounds. So like a single lightsaber blow would kill you if it was hard and you didn't have much. Uh, constitution, but um, a critical hit would go right through your vitality points and straight to your hit points, so you could get killed like quite quickly in battle. Uh, and then um, like mook type characters, like stormtroopers and stuff, just didn't have vitality points. Uh, it's, I think it's a cool, like certainly more realistic way to uh, to do hit points uh, in a tabletop game. It's the kind of thing that I would I would. Wow, I just got fucked up. Um, it's the kind of thing that I would I would consider using in um, like a fifth edition game, because I think it's it's pretty cool and it's a neat way to like change how uh, change how combat feels in uh, in D and D analogs. Karth, wake up! Why are you standing? F Whatever. What? What? This is what I do. So if you wanted to make D and D really, um, like really intense, uh, you just yeah use melee melee shield. Cool. Uh, you just use current hit points, the way hit points normally work, turn those into vitality points, and then um, just give characters a pool of hit points equal to their constitution, and if you roll a 20, instead of dealing double damage, it just bypasses and goes straight to uh, hurting them for real. Uh, it makes the game feel a lot more um, a lot more lethal, um, and it's a really easy uh, rules hack that you can, you can add in. Yeah, that'll be really helpful. Okay. Nice. So we dealt with these Mandalorians. It's a shame that everything else about 3rd edition D&D had, like, no right being a Star Wars game. Um, even so. Even so, they did some neat things with the uh, with the setting, and it it f sort of firmed up what a lot of people treat hit points as anyway, right? Where they say, "Oh, well, your hit points are just like really just your um, your vitality in combat, like how how much how much more you can handle uh, in a fight." Let's give this guy some more hit points. Here we go. Sandral grounds. Well, let's 
We'll cheese it and we'll go back and come back. Because we're awful. <laughs> There you go. So many duros. What? Oh my god, is Oh, you're out right here by yourself. That is a bad scene. I'll chuck some grenades before they get to you. Lupa. Get in there. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Oh my god, I just tabbed to try to change targets. <laughs> Um, so, for example, in that in that system, because uh, DJ Brandon was asking, if you shoot at somebody uh, and you hit them, they lose vitality points, but they only lose vitality points because the effort of dodging is what slows them down. It's not about them getting hit. Now, if you roll the crit, if you, you get a 20, then you actually hit them, and they take, like, proper for reals damage. Uh, and they can only withstand one, maybe two of those hits before they're dead. Yes, give me all your stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, Alaren, that's the that's the game we're talking about. We're talking about um like the entire D twenty like family of Star Wars games. Oops. <laughs> Down she goes. Crap. Yeah, it might be better giving her a pistol and keeping her out of melee combat. Shoot the same target, you nerds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Better run. In the zone. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I deflect the blaster shots. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot I put points in that. I think it's mostly just that when she gets meleeed by a bunch of people, it's a uh, it's a bad scene. Okay. Also, people are asking me uh, if I believe in the uh, the rule of two. If I'm a Sith, if I'm a Sith Lord. Um, I mean, you know, the rule of two is. Uh, it's a means of survival for my people, and uh, while I wish that the Sith could spread across the universe, also, fuck you, hound. Uh, you know, we gotta be careful. Currently, my Sith apprentice, Darth Lumpkin, and I, you know, we gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish with this little section, and then, like, I'll do this fight, and then I want to take a, uh, I want to take a quick break, and then we'll finish our Jedi training when we return. Let's turn on that melee shield, girl. To quit. Mm. Take these ones out. Oh my god. 
This fight is intense. Dead. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, all right. Well, just we'll just let we'll let Karth have a nice nap. All right, Karth. You you have your nap. Uh, we'll uh, we'll buy some nerps and uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll come right back with more Knights of the Old Republic uh, right after this. So stick around.